Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So if you remember, um, I did an unbagging for a new to me company called OutdoorTide.com um, and they sent me a few products to uh, show on my channel uh, and then yeah, they asked me if I would like some more after I'd done my last unboxing and I said yes of course because I was really pleased with the ones I'd got from them. So we'll have a look at that in a second. But I have completed this little canvas and this is this gorgeous a very very sparkly snowman uh, as if you remember i did say that actually it is an ornament that i would actually have quite liked it's one of those with like the snow globe in its dummy with the little village inside uh, and the little train going around the outside if you saw my recent video where we went shopping around the garden center they had very similar things to this they didn't have this one um but had very similar ones so yeah and i just thought well this is the next best thing um because this is like flat so i am actually going to cut this out uh, and i may put it onto a, a magnetic surface uh, you can get like a four pieces of magnetic um well, I suppose it's a sheet of mag magnetised. Well, it's not paper, is it? It's magnet. You know what I mean. <laughs> and pop it on there. And then he might go on my fridge. So I can be giving a hug every time I open my fridge. <laughs> but isn't that gorgeous? It's, I've done it in all the crystals that it came with. Um, I've not had it added anything extra. I do think it will, you know, it, it will look nice in a frame if you just want to frame it. But uh, with these, when they're such a good shape, I do like to cut them out and use them as decorations and other things. I mean, he would go on the front of a Christmas card if you wanted him to. But uh, I like him so much, I'm going to keep him. <laughs> I'm not sending him on a card for anybody. Um, I love the way that we've got the crystals. So these are just the plain, well, they're not plain, either. they're always very sparkly, but uh, the standard crystal, shall we say. And then we've got like this grey coloured crystal. So rather than putting the black, which, you know, in a lot of um, diamond paintings, you get the standard black gem um, to, to go on something like this as the, like the border and for the hat they've actually used this like palish grey which looks a lot darker actually on camera than it is in real life but it gives you that contrast without being a really stark colour and I did think oh I'm not sure that these white sort of like there's no facets on these white they're like a semi-sphere like a half um half a globe as it were um and I thought oh I might put yellow in the light but actually it just all works just those few colours and then this little pop of like this bronzy colour at the bottom for the stand it just it's it's great and I love obviously his orange carrot nose that's brilliant so yeah I'm really really pleased with this there was only six colours on it so and it was quite quick to do what did it take me um probably about 40 or 50 ish minutes and I, I was sort of like making tea in between um doing this one I was sat down last night and uh yeah i mean i was putting the tea in the oven um and then just going and checking it so yeah i would think probably if i'd have sat down and done it as a whole maybe about 40 ish minutes depends how quick your diamond paint but it's not a race it's set to, you need to enjoy your diamond painting just relax and enjoy it so yeah however long it takes it does if it takes you days it does but it's such an achievement at the end and that is so sparkly i hope you can get back oh yeah you can get a little bit of those marquees there and just the plain silver as well so yeah he was great fun to do he was uh, in my unboxing uh, from last month if you look out for Outdoor Tide on my YouTube playlist, um, there is only the one video there at the moment. And then obviously I will be adding this one as well. So you can go back and have a look at the full unboxing. Uh, yeah, and there is quite a few in the set as well. So if you wanted to do sort of a set of them, maybe three or five or something, and make a display on a wall as your pictures, then uh, you could quite easily do that plenty of gems left over they've all stuck really really well so i won't be sealing this one um because once i've because uh, i put my pictures out for christmas uh, and then once i've finished with them i put them into folders for next year so yeah excellent so let's have a look at these we have our standard crystal to go in my crystal jar we've got lots of that orange left i love that orange color 
and then we have the bronzy colour and then we have that's the grey sort of off that's the sort of darkish grey colour which yeah really does look good it's really given the contrast between the silver and not quite as stark as having black and white on it as well and then we've just got the two specials left over which are number five and number six and they do have a Q081 and an M052 on them so I'm going to write the numbers on these bags and then I'm not going to put these away at the moment I'll probably do a kitting down with quite a few together um, rather than just doing the two because I want to get on and open this bag but uh, so I don't mislay these so number six is the M052 now I have seen other companies use an M for marquees so yeah and then Q081 so Q081 so when I kit those down, I will make sure that I put these numbers on the bags and see if I can ma match them up with other colours that I've got. Sorry, we have got a bit of a glare today. I think we're in for Storm Agnes is going to come down uh, in sort of the Hull area, the East, East Riding area where we are. We're right on the banks of the River Humber and uh, we seem to miss a lot of the storms. It seems to, I don't know, the river seems to protect us somehow. So looking on the weather chart last night, it did seem to be moving away from us, but it is very, very dark this afternoon. And uh, yeah, I am expecting some rain, but I don't think we'll get the strong winds. I keep saying 60 to 80 mile an hour winds, but we'll see. Fingers crossed, but I hope the rest of the country is safe as well. Okay, so that's those two. We'll put those out of the way. They're just the standard crystals to go into my generic kit down ones. So pop those in there as well. Actually, I'll keep them all together for now while I get on with my unboxing. And then I'll have a play with those later on. But yeah, really, really pleased with that. Lovely quality, a lovely canvas. There is actually um, a sparkle in the canvas as well. I don't know whether... We'll pick it up. Let's see how close we can... Oh yeah, you can look. There you are. We have got a sparkle on that canvas. So if you did want to uh, leave it as a picture, it's just me that I like playing about, then uh, yeah, there is a sparkle there. So even though it looks like it's blank white at the background, it is very, very sparkly still. Okay, so that is our little snowman. But let's get into this one. So a huge thank you Outdoor Tide for sending me these. It's lovely working with uh, new companies. Uh, there are some special offers uh, on at the moment. If you spend over $59, you do get two free gifts. So we like free. That's a great word. And uh, there is also free shipping over $59 as well. So, yeah, it's worth having a look and putting a few in your basket and uh, making it up to get those free gifts and your free shipping. Adding a £5 painting to your uh, cart gets you free shipping so you're probably saving the amount of that painting i don't know anyway you know what i mean if you've got any questions pop them in the comments down below and uh, as i always say um the special offer is the special offers are current as i'm making this video this afternoon and um, if you're watching in a couple of months time there may be different special offers but pop over to outdoortide.com and go and have a look and see what they've got right let's get into these okay so we have ooh, one in a jiffy bag i've not had one in a jiffy bag for a while it's got extra protection that one must be a special one. Oh, you've had a sneak peek of that let me pop it over there quick <laughs> and then oh another diamond painting okay so right we better have a look at this one haven't we oh we've got jingle bells but it's not a christmas one right well uh yeah i've got this one um because we are coming up to breast cancer care month in october and uh yeah i've had several friends sadly um that i've lost to breast cancer and one very very special friend so yeah um she was my craft buddy and we used to go to all the shows together and we used to go to uh, workshops you know where you'd sit for a day and make things together and we used to have a really really good laugh i used to go and see her regularly uh, while she was having a chemo and everything and uh, she was doing really well but sadly we did then lose her so yeah and let me get this out and show you oh my 
goodness, I love this. Wow. Okay, put that on there so it's not uh, ringing too much. But this is the actual little keychain, the little fob, as it were, and it is a pink butterfly. Now, my friend um, and, you know, a few other friends as well that have breast cancer um, belonged. It's a local organisation that we have here in the East Riding, and it's called Hair Breast Friends, and that's Hull and East Riding Breast Friends, uh, just to play on words. And their symbol is actually a pink butterfly. And uh, I do have a pink butterfly keychain that I carry about with me all the time. Um, and I just thought it might be nice actually to have a new one now because that one is getting a little bit worn. I must have had it 10 years possibly. Um, yeah, so when I saw that there was this keychain that comes with a little pink floofy bit and I didn't realise it had a bell, but that's fine. I don't mind having a bell on my bag. At least I'll know where it is. <laughs> and actually it's probably security as well because if anybody else knocks into your bag um, or is being a bit naughty then the bell will ring so you can always turn around and see what they're up to but yeah I just thought that was uh, in memory of my lovely friend for October and it is very pretty anyway even without it being for uh, that symbol it is still a very very pretty keychain and uh, or oh, bag charm really isn't it because it's got your bell and your little leathery floofy, floofy bit on it as well do like that so you've got your choice of either the ring which uh, are awful to open and uh, yeah i always say you need three friends and an elephant to get one of those open to get anything in off on and off it and then we've got a lovely large club clubster claw <laughs> Lobster claw clasp. Oh my goodness. Where did that come from? A clobster claw. <laughs> What's a clobster then? So yeah, just a little bit different that one. And I just thought, oh, I've got to have that. Uh, the price of this was £3.41. And as a, that's really because you've got all your extra bits. It's not just a keychain, is it? It's, you know, it is a proper bag charm with all the extra pieces. And uh, yeah, it looks like we just have the two colours, which actually happen to be hot pink and this lovely clear crystal. So hot pink is being called. Yay! So it's uh, a very good one for me. Lots of ways round. Uh, we've got our little toolkit, pen, button, wax, so enough to get your little project done. I am going to give it a quick measure. I do like the fact, actually, that it's not too big because I will be putting this on my bag and I have so much that I have to carry around with hubby and everything um, that it's quite nice to have something that's just that little bit lighter and a little bit smaller because uh, yeah you tend to find if you get anything too big hanging from your bag then uh, you tend to start walking lopsided well I do anyway <laughs> so it's two and a quarter inches which is about five and a half ish centimeters by oh it's nearly square two and a quarter centimeter two and a quarter inches five and a half centimeters so yeah actually it doesn't look square but it is because uh, you've got your width across there and the length as well so yeah very very pretty double-sided uh, it will need sealing go and check out my recent sealing video but i think that'll be really good with the hot pink and then just that little bit of silver just to add that contrast in the middle very very nice I like that one okay we'll leave the one in the bank till last da, 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 da. so we'll have a look at this one and it might just be a special drill canvas and it might just be christmas I'm getting them all early so that i can get working on them and get them done okay so this is just a smaller one. Oh, and look how pretty that is oh that is gorgeous oh and i like the background okay let me just give it a bit of a flatten so that uh, go out the way you the one in the packets trying to get in on the axe before i look at it so, good flatten down oh this is very very different okay i not seen one like this before you're all thinking, what is she on about now? <laughs> okay, it has got quite creased in the post. It's got the sort of like packing ridges, as it were, where it's been wrapped around the gems. But they will flatten down. It's a poured glue, so just something, just put it under something uh, 
heavy or uh, in my case put it in my diamond painting folders and give it a really good squish and then those creases will come out but it is this gorgeous wreath look at that with all like it's actually it looks like red roses really and holly berries and then this beautiful little robin sat there but what i was saying ooh, about was look at this we have like a shaded background snowflakes so yeah going all the way around rather than it just being a plain white background we've got these shadow snowflakes in the background so it just adds that little bit more interest now the snowflakes are quite away from oops if we can just get that that's come on focus that's better uh quite away from the actual canvas there so i think this is a slightly smaller picture so i will probably be cutting this out to be slightly smaller um i'll be i'm wondering if the frame will come over there because i now have got uh, some magnetic frames and uh, mm, okay so i'm gonna measure this one from the edge of this snowflake here to this snowflake here because that's sort of the canvas size isn't it it is about a centimeter half an inch um different okay so let's have a look at that but that is very different and i do like that because i'm not a huge fan of the plain white backgrounds and as you know i do tend to cut things out and have a bit of a play about with things what on earth is my ruler doing it's waving at you look Ooh, hello <laughs> right so yeah that is actually 23 centimeters which is nine inches now i'm just thinking do ikea have frames that are 23 centimeters i know they have some things that are a little bit different to everybody else so it could be and you could get an actual frame that fits this one and then if you go sort of yeah from there to there albeit there's nothing on this edge that's sort of cut off or anything it is just top and bottom where the snowflakes are cut off but you know you would then make it into a square so i like that idea loving that mm, i like things that are different and new and we are getting so many new brilliant diamond painting things in at the moment sorry i just had to have a bit of a shuffle in my chair i'm falling off <laughs> Right, oh, that'd be great fun for everybody else watching me fall off my chair, wouldn't it? Right, so we have pen, boat and wax, the same, our little standard toolkit. This one is eight different gems and colours and it looks like we have three specials and we do have the code numbers on them the same again. So I will be, uh, again, writing those on the little bags and matching them up, hopefully. But this is a lovely picture and that robin is so realistic sat there. He's really, really pretty just a very sort of classic Christmassy um, picture albeit to be honest because it's roses and I know we've got like berries but it doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas so it could even stay up um, for January February uh, you know it doesn't have well, I suppose we've got the snowflakes in the background haven't we but it snows in January and February as well so yeah this one will probably stay up longer than Christmas oh I just love robins Okay, let's have a look at this one. Oh, right. So, ooh, nice colours. But look how clear that crystal is. That is so beautiful and clear. I love it when they're clear. And then that gorgeous cherry red. That is wonderful. And a little bit of a peachy gold colour. And very bright green. That's lovely. And then that's a little bit of brown. I'm guessing that's going to be our little robin. And then our three specials are some uh, half spheres, some semi spheres with no facets on in the larger red. And then the same one in the smaller red. And then the same one, I don't think they've got facets on, now have they? Yeah, and then the same one in this gorgeous palish green. So where do the green ones go? They're uh, number eight, okay. Oh, look, so these are like berries. So a little bit like mistletoe berries, I guess. They look a little bit like mistletoe leaves. So, yeah, so we're going to have all the red berries around here in the two different sizes. And then we're going to have the little pale green ones just to highlight. 
I love the colour palette on this. It's very, very pretty. Not too many colours, so it's, yeah, very, very oh, nice. I like this one, and I love that Robin. Oh, very classic Robin picture. All of it. Okay, and the price of that one was only $6.23. So, really good price as well. So, we'll pop the little Robin onto one side. And now let's have a look at what's in the mystery packet. Oh, okay. I've not opened this one yet. I usually uh, open them in advance, but I've not done on this one. I've been very good. I'm not peaked. <laughs> it is very, very tempting. I get packages and I think, oh, I'm going to have a look. And then I think, nope, nope, wait, wait. It's uh, quite difficult as well because if hubby gets to it first, I'm like, don't you open that package. I've got to do it on camera. And he's like, oh, I just wanted to have a look. <laughs> Ooh, look at this one. Okay. So this is actually a luminous one, which means it's got glow in the dark drills. So let's have a look and see what we got. Want to come out come on out you come Woo. so yeah it's a while since i've had a glow in the dark one so we will just open this wow <gasps> and it's all packed up as well yay oh i love it when kits back themselves up that's marvelous so pen boat wax and we've got a few little grip seal bags in there as well thank you very much and it is da -da -da -da. look at this look at me but as I say, this is glow in the dark. Wow. Okay, this one has again got a little bit squished. It's got a few little creases, but we'll give him a bit of a flatten. And then uh, we'll put him under something heavy and he will be fine. So this is, because uh, I've, I've had a couple of sugar skulls recently. And uh, yeah, not usually my uh, thing. I don't normally get the sugar skulls. But I thought rather than just having one sat on his own, I'd better get some friends to go with him. And I just thought having a glow in the dark one would be quite nice. And I've got a funny feeling that these teeth are all glow in the dark drills around them. So you're going to see that smile when you come in, even in the dark. I could do with that for Millie at the moment, actually, because um, she's when she goes out for a walk on a night, it's dark when she comes back. And obviously Millie is our little Scottish Terrier, our little Millie Moo. Uh, it features in quite a few of my videos and usually on my cover sheets as well for my uh, videos, yeah. And uh, yeah, so you, you can't see her. And uh, she'll suddenly she'll go into stealth Scotty mode and creep up on you. So I am going to have to get her a flashing collar. <laughs> or glow in the dark teeth, whichever's easiest. Okay, look at that. There is a lot of gems on this one, a real lot of gems. And as you can see, actually, this is like a frame in a frame as well. So it's as though um, the brown has been framed around the uh, picture. So it's a smaller square inside. So if you had a smaller, if you had a smaller frame, you could always cut down your picture a little bit uh, without losing any of your gems. Ooh. But look how many crystals are on this. There are 17 different gems and colours. And we have got all the codes as well. So excellent. But yeah, it's all flowers and butterflies all around the edge of the skull. So wow. Loving this. Absolutely. Oh, what a brilliant unboxing. I'm really enjoying looking at these. These are really good. Okay, so I'm going to measure this. So that is your... Uh, oh. This is actually 26 centimetres, which is just a smidge over 10 inches. And then if you measure it sort of from the where the actual picture starts, the pattern starts, that is 23 and a smidge centimetres, which is about nine and a quarter inches. So, yeah, you've got a choice there of your frame sizes to put this in so most of my pictures these days go in the magnetic frames um so i have got unboxings of magnetic frames as well if you do want to see those um and they're just basically frames that you put on the wall and then rather than having to take it off the frame off the wall 
and uh, open it all up to change your pictures over you just flip down the front of them and just you change your pictures in and out and because i have so many diamond paintings and i do like to theme uh, my diamond painting corners and things and where i have them then uh, the magnetic frames are great because you can do it quickly so i'm sort of like changing everything over to autumn at the moment and then from autumn it will all go into halloween and then once halloween's over i'll start on christmas yay <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at these gem. I love the fact that it's already bagged up. That's marvellous. You don't even need a pair of scissors to do this one. You've got your tray, you've got your pen, you've got your wax, and everything's all ready to go. Excellent. There's some wonderful colours in here as well. Oh, wow, let's have a look. Okay, so let's start from this end. Oh, and the numbered bags as well. Yes. I like my numbered bags so we've got your now then are they glow or are they standard white i think they may be glow in the dark yes they are i've got my little uh, uv light here and um, my little mini uv light so if i just put this over the top really really quickly and then bring them up to there look these are glow in the dark yay so it just gives you um a chance to see what they look like <laughs> I've got this set for when I want to start doing my UV resin, but at the moment uh, it's coming in very handy for glowing the dark things on diamond paintings. <laughs> oh, I, I just go, hot. yeah, I just had to get one. So, yeah, oh, you can still see they're just slightly glowing now. So, yeah, all around those teeth. So, you're going to see, I think, all around the skull, yeah, the whole of the skull, ooh, around the eye sockets and in the middle of the eye sockets. Ooh. And then all the way around here uh, and all around these teeth are going to glow in the dark. Yay! So I'll have to remember to keep those separate as well so that I know they are glow in the dark. Excellent. Okay. And then number two is this lovely turquoise colour. And number three is a gorgeous sunny yellow. Very nice. Oh, look at that red. That's gorgeous very sort of a, well, I don't know, is it sort of a rosy red really, I think. Okay, and then we have like a bubblegum pink. I'm not calling hot pink on that, because to me that's bubblegum pink. And a very bright orange. This is going to be so much colour. Great fun to do. And your lovely grassy green. And a palish pink there. Okay, so let's have a look at the specials. Okay, so we have some marquees, small silver ones with an iridescent coating on. We have these, oh look, there's some trying to escape there. Let me just pop that bag. You're not getting out, you're staying there. We have some of the gold with like the silver on the bottom, they're little marquees as well. <gasps> look at these little gold stars, teeny tiny. And they're dotted all the way around the canvas, look. You can see where they're all just dotted round. Wow, okay, we've got some uh, semispheres which haven't got any facets uh, in the turquoise with the iridescent coating on. We have some yellow ones as well with an iridescent coating. And we have some pink ones with an iridescent coating. Ooh, nice. Oh, and then look at those. They're like the greeny, purpley blue uh, rounds with facets and that lovely iridescent coating on you get the real oil on water effect on those very nice and then oh i think these are the eye oh my goodness they're the eyeballs wow so they're large with no facets and that iridescent coating and then they're going to have a round of glow in the dark around them as well they do actually quite look like eyeballs don't they Ooh. okay and then finally we have these little marquees in this gorgeous deep purple colour. Wow. Right, I'm just going to get my UV light again and just see if any of these is glow in the dark. I've just had a bit of a play and it is just the white ones that glow in the dark. So, yeah, that's really going to stand out. Oh, I'm not going to tell hubby. I'll put it on the wall and I won't tell him that it glows in the dark. And we'll see if he notices. <laughs> 
Oh dear, I'm sure I've told you about the story where I came home and um, we'd all at work when I was working and uh, we'd all dressed up for Halloween and I had a great big spider stuck on the back of my hair bun that I had on and he didn't even notice and even when I said to him do you like my hair he said oh yeah it just looks same as normal I said well I don't normally have a great big spider stuck on the back of, the back of my head so it will be interesting to see whether he actually notices this glows in the dark. <laughs> But they are fantastic specials. Look at all those. Oh, I love this. And uh, this one was $7.18. I'm not sure if I told you. Um, but yeah, glow in the dark. A 30 by 30 canvas. Um, let's see, you've got the two sizes because, you know, you've got this lovely big border around the actual sort of design area. So you can always cut that down slightly if you're wanting to. Right, let me just put these back in the bag. Okay, so we've had our lovely, we've had our, ooh, skull. We've had our gorgeous little Robin all ready for Christmas. And then uh, special to me, our little keychain with our butterfly on. And then, yeah, we did see our completed sparkly snowman as well. Yay! Okay, well, huge thank you uh, to Outdoor Tired for sending me these. They are great fun. Um, I'm quite looking forward to doing that one. As I say, it's something different for me because I don't normally do skulls. Um, I know I like scary and uh, I like uh, doing things a bit different, but skulls aren't really my thing. It's not something that I've particularly been into. Um, but yeah, as I say, I've got one, so I thought, well, I better get something else to go with it. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit lonely okay well i hope you've enjoyed this unboxing huge thank you again to outdoortide.com for sending me these do go and check out the special offers and uh, have a look at what they've got on the website okay if you've got any comments or questions in the comments down below don't forget that thumbs up if you've enjoyed looking at these with me and if you want to come back and see what we get up to next and if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up You'll be notified when any of my videos come up, so you're not going to miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.